Welcome to Millennium Computers Fast Online Tutorials for Purchasing Card. In this session, I will show you the new features on the Account Administration page and how to add an account holder. Before starting, there are a few things you need to know. The user must have a user ID in your ERP system that is set to P or B fund access. The fund org security comes from the account holder's user ID and not the person setting it up. And user access roles are automatically assigned to the users after the account is set up. Setting up an account is done on the account administration page. To make more room on the page, you can click this arrow on the right side of the title bar. And the fast header at the top is hidden and you gain almost an inch of space to work with. There are several types of filter options you can use to minimize the amount of card holders on your list, but I'm not going to select any filters right now. Instead, I'll scroll down so I can execute this report. If there are notes that are specific to the page you are on, they will display below the filter options. After you've read them, you can click Hide Page Notes to close the section. And now I'll run the report. By not selecting any filters, all account holders are listed on the page. Before adding a new account, I want to show you a few new features. Note how 20 of 28 records are showing and there is blank space at the bottom of the list. To show more lines, all you have to do is change the records per page. I want to see 50 records at a time, so I am going to change it to that. Now, more records are listed, but you still can't see all of them. You can use the grid height option and click the arrow or move the slider. There are more records showing now and everything at the bottom of the page has been moved down. This option is handy if you are using a larger monitor and because every situation is different, you can adjust the grid height and records per page to suit your needs. You have the option to export the data on the page into an Excel spreadsheet, a PDF, or into XML format. You can also save your options as a pinned report to use later or for others to use. You can also apply custom filters right in the data grid. Just move the mouse pointer over the column title. If it changes to a hand, you can click the heading. Please note that custom columns are an institution setting. And from this little menu, you can apply custom filters to the data in the column or sort in ascending or descending order and even hide the column. I am going to reopen the report options and there are three ways to do it. Click show report options at the bottom. At the top right, click the show options button or click anywhere on the report options title bar. Now I would like to limit the amount of account holders in the list. And to do this, I will use the filter options. If your institution uses departments, you can filter by one or more of them, or by account holder, accounting codes. You can use any combination of filters. However, for this tutorial, I want to list by fund code. There are a couple of different ways to use this filter control. One way is to search for the code. If you aren't sure of the exact code, you can type a portion of it in the search field and any code with that string is in the list. Click the code or codes you want to use, then add them and the codes are inserted into the list. I am going to clear the item from this filter control so I can show you the other way to use it. Just click in the box and type the code. It has to be the exact code though. Press the enter key on your keyboard or click the green plus icon beside the filter to add it to the list. On some filter controls, when you click the search icon, a list opens that you can drill down to find your filter. Select the department you want to use as a filter and then click the green check mark to include your selection or click the red X to close the pop-up and cancel your selection. However, I just want to use the fund code 10100 that I selected before, so I'm going to run the report and only account holders that have fund code 10100 are in the list. You might be wondering how the coding is added and that is done when you add the account holder, which is what I will do now. At the bottom left is the add new icon. It looks like a green plus sign with three lines beside it. The edit data form opens above the list. The first thing you have to do is find the user you are adding. If you know the user ID or name of the person, you can type it or a portion of it and click search. The name and the cursor are inserted into the user field and none of the other fields are editable. The user must be validated before you can continue, so click or tab out of the field. 
When the check mark and username display, the user ID has been validated and you can continue. Note that all fields are open now. You can click into the next field or press the tab key on your keyboard. Select a source. If your institution uses other sources in addition to purchasing card, they will be in the list. Briefly, another source may be set up at your institution so transactions can be imported, for example, for a gas card or utility charges. Type the account number. If this account holder is going to be an administrator of the purchasing card system, select the admin checkbox. Locking the account prevents the account holder from accessing this particular account number. Please note that locking the account here does not cancel the account. That must be done with the account provider. By adding a department to an account, it lets other users belonging to the same department administer this account as well. If your institution has set up a department grouping hierarchy, users assigned to departments that the selected department rolls up to will be able to administer the account as well. I will show you how users are assigned to departments in a different tutorial. Default coding must be added for each account. You can type or search for the accounting codes. Please note that required codes are marked with an asterisk. When the field turns blue and the red X displays, it means the code you typed is not available for this user. I'm not sure which org codes this user has access to, so I'm going to type the wildcard character to search for it. And now that I have added all the information, I can save the account. I have successfully added Test4 as an account holder. And automatically, the portal pcard user role is added to this user's profile. Or if I had selected the admin checkbox, the portal pcard administrator role would have been added. I am going to open the report options again. I have just cleared all the filter options so I can list all account holders and show you other options on this page. You can edit information for an account holder by clicking the pencil icon. A check mark in the admin column indicates the user is an administrator of the purchasing card system. The icon shaped like a lock in the locked column indicates that the account is no longer accessible to the user. If an account holder is in red, it is not found in your ERP system and you can only lock or unlock these types of accounts. Subsequently, if the user ID is added to the ERP system, it will be available for editing after the next data refresh. At the bottom of the page is a button you can click to open the account status report. This report lists all account holders that have transactions against their account number but have not yet been added to the account administration page.